I'm David Johnson, Vice President Exploration with Gold Bull Resources, and I'd like to give you a very brief overview of some geophysical survey results that we obtained recently on our Sandman Gold Exploration Project near Winnemucca, Nevada. The survey was a controlled source audio magneto telluric survey or CSAMT survey. This is a slide showing um, our plan of operations boundary in white for the Sandman project and the surface projections of the four gold deposits comprising our 494,000 ounce gold mineral resource estimate which we published earlier this year. The windmill target where we completed the CSAMT survey is uh, located immediately to the east of the Silica Ridge gold deposit and it uh, covers an east-west trending basin bounding structure which we've interpreted from gravity and uh, airborne electromagnetics. We, we believe that these structures are uh, important controls on location of gold mineralization in low sulfidation epithermal gold systems. Zooming into the survey area we've got the surface projection of the Silica Ridge gold deposit. Uh, we've got the uh, interpreted basin bounding structure here and uh, just on, on the uh, eastern edge of the Silica Ridge mineral resource estimate there's this uh, projection of an east-west dike that uh, forms part of the mineral resource it is, it is strongly mineralized. So um, we also have uh, evidence of uh, other um, dikes in an east-west orientation following this um, basin bounding structure. So uh, these dikes being collinear with a, a strongly mineralized dike in, in the resource makes them quite interesting. Also the fact that uh, we've taken deflation lag samples um, along this, this zone, um, some of which uh, contain uh, highly anomalous gold. And uh, we also have um, uh, outcrops of uh, Agilaria flooded conglomerate that uh, has anomalous gold within this, this east-west corridor. And uh, it's, it's intersected by these northwest trending dikes that are uh, intruding structures that uh, parallel the, uh, the trend of the, the mineralization at Silica Ridge. So these, these intersections of the east-west structure with these northwest structures are uh, very interesting to us. So here are the results of the CSAMT survey. North is um, towards the right hand side of the page. West is up the page. So the Silica Ridge deposit is at the western end of the survey area. We're showing only the uh, results of the north-south CSAMT lines. These are 2D models recovered from the CSAMT data, 2D models of the electrical resistivity in the subsurface. These conductive zones here are probably uh, tertiary tuffs and sediments. These um, blue zones here and here correspond to um, a, a uh, andesitic basalt at the top of the tertiary, tertiary sequence which is uh, electrically resistive, um, it's very non-porous. And um, these, these blue areas, these are very interesting to us. Uh, they are potentially zones of hydrothermal alteration where the pore space in the rocks has been filled with uh, minerals like Agilaria that uh, is introduced as, as part of the gold mineralizing process in places like Silica Ridge. So um, these, these 
discrete zones um, occurring along this interpreted structure are uh, prime targets that we intend to, to drill with these two holes. Now we also have a program of lag sampling uh, underway it's, it's mainly complete. Uh, we got that done before it started raining and those uh, samples are in the lab now. Um, this lag sampling technique, um, this, is a, this is a slide illustrating an orientation survey we did over the northern end of a silica ridge deposit, strongly anomalous in silver, and uh, this is a CSAMT line passing just to the north. And uh, CSAMT does an excellent job of defining the location of the fault that um, is um, intimately associated with the um, Silica Ridge Gold Deposit and it also picks out this electrically resistive zone of Agilaria flooding where the, the gold mineralisation has been drilled. So the two t techniques uh, work very well together. I thank you very much for your attention and I look forward to updating you on our progress with this program. I also encourage you to uh, refer to our website for that press release dated 7th of December 2021.